Hey guys, we are on our third week of Pumpkin Parables. If you've been with us the past couple weeks, you know that we are taking the parables that Jesus taught or the stories that taught a lesson and comparing them to a pumpkin or using that pumpkin to help us learn them. Now this week we are learning about forgiveness, specifically about forgiving others. And you might be thinking, how can a pumpkin represent me forgiving somebody else? Well, first let's take a look at our pumpkin here. It's hard, right? Pretty hard. Well, if you open it up, the inside is not that hard. It's all soft and gooey. Inside is kind of the opposite of the hard shell on the outside. And Jesus talked about our hearts being hard and soft. And he did that in Matthew chapter 18, verses 21 through 35. In this story, Peter came to Jesus and he asked him, Lord, when someone sins against me, how many times must I forgive him? It's a good question, isn't it? So Jesus answers him, you must forgive him more than seven times. Okay, that's not too bad. Jesus says you must forgive him even if he does wrong to you, 70 times seven. That sounds like a lot though. That's 490 times, almost 500. Then Jesus tells a story. He says, the kingdom of heaven is like a king who decided to collect the money his servants owed him. So the king starts his collection and he gets to one of his servants and that servant owes him millions of dollars. But the servant doesn't have the money. He can't pay. So what does the king do? He orders that everything that servant owns, even the servant's wife and kids, be sold to pay off the debt. That sounds awful, right? Well, the servant thinks so too, so he falls to his knees, begging the king to have mercy. Be patient with me, I will pay you. So the king feels sorry for him and he says, you don't have to pay, and he lets him go free. That's a pretty forgiving king, isn't it? Now, later on, that same servant runs into another servant who owes him just a few dollars. And he grabs this guy by the neck and demands to be paid back right then. Give me my money right now. And this other servant begs, please be patient, I will pay you. But the first servant refuses and has the second servant thrown in prison until he can pay him. All the other servants saw what happened and reported it back to the king. How do you think that made the king feel? Yeah, he wasn't too pleased. He called the first servant in and he said, you evil servant, you begged me for patience and I forgot your debts. You should have the same mercy on others. So the king punished the first servant by putting him in jail until he could pay off the millions he owed. So Jesus said, this king did what my heavenly father will do to you if you don't forgive others from your heart. So we saw two different stories here. The first was a forgiving heart and the second was an unforgiving heart. And Jesus said, we're supposed to be like the first one, kind and forgiving. And that can be a hard thing for us to do. If someone's done something wrong to us, we can have hard, unforgiving hearts. But the Bible tells us to have soft, forgiving hearts. Our hearts shouldn't be hard like the outside of our pumpkin. They should be soft like the insides. And if you look closely at the insides, well, they're filled with seeds. Remember last week's lesson? Those seeds are our faith growing in there. If our hearts are hard, our faith can't grow. If our hearts are hard and we don't forgive others, God can't forgive us. It's not always easy. Sometimes it feels good to hold on to those feelings of anger for a little while. You just want to be mad at that person. They did you wrong. I get it. But listen to me. I promise you, it feels better to let it go. Forgive them. Set it aside and move forward in faith. Now, it doesn't mean to let those people have the same exact role in your life anymore. They don't have to be your best friend if they hurt you or they did you wrong. But you can't move forward in faith if you don't forgive them. If you have someone in your life you're struggling to forgive, I'd love to pray for both of you. My email is gabby at theventurechurch.com. Feel free to reach out to me. I'll see you guys next week for our last pumpkin parable. Bye, guys.